If you've ever felt like your inputs are delayed online, or you're constantly battling weird ping spikes even though your internet speed looks fine, this video is for you. Today, we're going deep into real CMD commands and registry tweaks that fix hidden Windows networking bottlenecks. These aren't just the usual flush DNS and pray tweaks. We're talking about low-level fixes to Windows' networking stack that can cut ping jitter, input delay, and random packet loss. We'll go step by step, each tweak safe, reversible, and practical. By the end of this video, your connection will feel snappier, your inputs more responsive, and those random lag spikes, gone. But before we dive in, make a system restore point. Registry edits can be powerful, so it's always good to have a rollback. Let's get into it. Step one, rebuild and reset your network stack. CMD power fix. Over time, the networking system in Windows can become cluttered with outdated settings, cache droughts, and broken configurations. This can create hidden delays and intermittent issues when sending or receiving network data, leading to frustrating slowdowns or even connectivity problems. By resetting and rebuilding your network stack, you can clear out these accumulated issues and restore smooth and reliable network performance. We're going to address this by using just a few simple commands to reset your network stack. Start by opening CMD with administrative privileges. This step is crucial for proper execution. Once the command prompt window is open with administrative rights, you can enter the following commands one by one. Here's a quick breakdown of what each command does. net sharsh int ip reset. This command rebuilds your TCP IP stack, effectively restoring it to its default settings. This ensures that any issues in the stack, like misconfigured or corrupted settings, are fixed. Netshosh Winsock Reset Winsock corruption can cause issues in network-related applications, such as web browsers, games, and other network-dependent programs. This command restores the Winsock catalog to its default configuration, resolving connectivity issues that can lead to stutters or slow performance. ipconfig slash release plus ipconfig slash renew. These commands release your current IP address from the router and then request a fresh one. It can solve IP address conflicts and connectivity problems by ensuring that your device gets a new and clean lease from your router. ipconfig slash flush DNS. This clears any outdated or corrupted DNS or domain name system entries from your computer, which can significantly speed up domain lookups. Old DNS entries might cause delays when accessing websites or services. Step 2. Optimize DNS handling for faster responses. DNS lookups can cause micro lags when connecting to servers. By default, Windows caches entries for too long, sometimes even when the IP has changed. Follow these steps to optimize your DNS handling. Open the registry editor. Be careful when editing the registry, as incorrect changes can cause system issues. You can open the registry editor by typing regedit in the Start menu search bar and selecting it. Navigate to this registry path. If you don't see a parameters folder within DNS cache, you'll need to create it. Create new DWORD values inside the parameters folder. Max cache TTL set this value to 86,400 decimal. This tells Windows to keep valid DNS entries in the cache for 24 hours, which is typically sufficient for most use cases and ensures that you're not constantly performing lookups. Max negative cache TTL set this value to zero. This will prevent Windows from caching negative or failed lookups, which is helpful because failed lookups, like when a server can't be found, can cause delays and slow down connection attempts when servers change IP addresses. Negative cache time. Set this value to zero as well. This prevents Windows from caching failed DNS responses, meaning 
If a server's IP changes or becomes unreachable, you'll get a fresh attempt instead of lingering incorrect information. Once you've made these changes, close the registry editor and restart your PC. This ensures that the new settings take effect. After the restart, DNS resolution should be much faster and more reliable with fewer issues like random spikes or lags when switching between servers in games or other online applications. Step 3 is to tweak the Windows registry. Now let's tune Windows' networking stack for real-time gaming traffic. Follow these steps to fine-tune the registry. Open the registry editor if you haven't already. Navigate to the following path. Add or edit the following DWORD values within the Parameters folder. TCP ACK Frequency. Set this to 1. This setting forces Windows to immediately send acknowledgement packets, instead of batching them with others. Batching can cause small delays in communication, and forcing ACKs to be sent immediately helps minimize input lag. TCP No Delay. Set this to 1. This disables Nagel's algorithm, which by default attempts to bundle smaller packets before sending them. While this is efficient for general network traffic, it can introduce latency in real-time applications like games. Disabling it ensures the packets are sent out as quickly as possible without waiting. TCP Del Ack Ticks. Set this to zero. This value controls how long the system waits before sending an acknowledgement for TCP packets. Setting it to zero ensures that packets are acknowledged with minimal delay, which is critical for maintaining low latency during fast-paced gaming. Apply the same settings to your network adapter. You'll want to apply these tweaks to your specific network interface too. To do this, navigate to Replace your NIC ID with the actual ID for your network interface card, or NIC. You can find this by expanding the Interfaces section and identifying your NIC by the subfolder name. After making these changes, restart your PC to apply them. After applying, restart PC. Your network will now prioritize speed over packet patching, which is perfect for competitive gaming. Step 4. Kill Packet Coalescing and Offload Latency NIC Driver Fix Network interface cards often offload processing to the hardware, but in gaming, this can add latency. We'll tweak the NIC driver and registry. NIC Driver Settings Open Device Manager, Expand Network Adapters, Right-click your Active NIC, Properties, Advanced tab, Disable the following, if present. Interrupt moderation, receive side scaling, RSS, large send offload, LSO, V2 IPv4, IPv6, packet coalescing. These features save CPU cycles, but add delay and packet delivery. Disabling them reduces jitter. Registry Fine-Tuning Navigate to your NIC's registry key, create or modify DWORD. TCP 1323 opts equals 1. This enables selective ACKs without full window scaling. This keeps TCP timing tight, reducing packet buffering latency. Step 5. Force Stable Timer Resolution for Networking even if you fix TCP UDP, Windows can still suffer from timer drift, making packet scheduling uneven. That's where system timer resolution comes in. CMD method. Run this command in CMD as admin. This forces Windows to use HPET, or High Precision Event Timer, which makes networking tick intervals more stable. If HPET increases latency for you, rare cases, switch back with this. Bonus, ISLC, or Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. If you're already using ISLC, 
make sure the timer resolution is locked at 0.5 milliseconds for consistent networking. And that's it. Five real, safe, and proven fixes to cut down input lag and ping spikes in Windows. We flushed and rebuilt the full network stack, optimized DNS caching, applied registry tweaks for TCP UDP responsiveness, disabled NIC features that secretly add latency, and finally stabilized system timers for consistent packet delivery. These tweaks combined give you snappier inputs, more stable ping, and fewer lag spikes in online games. If this guide helped, drop a like and let me know how your pig feels now. And don't forget to subscribe, I've got way more hidden Windows performance tweaks coming. Thank you for watching.